Heather Ferrari does something no other woman does. Uh, there's a handful in the country. In Rio Town. The only one in Michigan, actually. Between painted walls and power plant smokestacks stands a little red building, Heather's business. And I own the record lounge. Heather has owned the record lounge for 10 years. I have seen a lot. And is one of the few women in the country to own a record shop. It's kind of an honor. I wear it like a badge of honor because um, for so many years it was just a man's game. She's getting ready for tomorrow, probably her biggest day, her it's holiday. Big day, big day for record shops. This is kind of our Christmas, if you will. Heather says people are going to be lined up down the block tomorrow for World Record Store Day, with some even camping out tonight in preparation. Well, Ronnie Wildheart is a local musician who feels the record lounge is home. It makes you feel like um, you have friends, you know? Yeah. And for part-time employee Bill Murphy, friends is what it's all about. A 64-year-old man to a 15-year-old that is wanting to buy the new or old Led Zeppelin. Uh, it, it's, it's engaging and it's just, it's, it's a trip, it's a high, it's, it's just cool to be able to, you know, take your passion and relate it to others. So while it might be easy to walk in and grab the Blues Brothers album on vinyl today, tomorrow might make your head spin. It's really neat. It's neat to see the different people that are buying vinyl these days. Heather hopes she can continue bringing people together. I think if there was no music in the world, where would we be? From her tiny shop. I mean, music is pretty much everything. In Rio Town. It's, it's, it's always something, and that's what made me passionate about this. Kelly Sheridan, Focal Point News.